Hello, everyone. So today's topic for the meeting is improve web app test CI times with just upgrade. I'm going to share my screen. So let's see what was before and then what is after that, after the after we updated. So we had 45 minutes of uh, web, web app CI test duration. Uh, before the upgrade and the end result is around 10 minutes uh, and then yes there are some deviation over there that's the reason i've added this but uh, as you can see these are the workflows which we ran before uh, merging the pr and after merging the pr so let's talk about how did we identify that and i mean not not only we how it was identified and what led to this uh this is leak so uh web app upgraded to matamo uh, to node version 18.17 from 16.10 and uh, the leak started right from 16.11 so we were on the last version of, of stable uh just running and then after that the leak started and uh we saw uh, people from Node complaining and people from Just complaining. It might might be a problem with Just, it might be a problem with Node. And then the end result of this was people were not able to migrate to a higher version of Node because of this uh, particular issue. Let's try to understand how, why is, uh, where, where exactly this memory leak is. So we have a class in Node called VM. And uh, if you would like to run a JavaScript code in its own context without external um, factors, you can run that in Node via VM script. And as, as you know, the way and test which usually has to, which, which have to run on uh, isolated environments, just uses them internally. So just uses the node script class to run each test standalone. The issue started when uh, from 18 point, uh, 16 point 11, the new option was added. It was called run uh, import module dynamically. What it basically does was, which was experimental, was to add support for dynamic imports. So it's a function which resolves into how do you want to handle the dynamic imports. And as you can see, this was being used by Chest. So let's try to understand how, what, what was the workflow of that? So you have the same component test, right? So same component tests are being run by Chest pass on to the node, where node compiles the test to lower level language. And when, because it's the same component, right? Because it's the same component, ideally, the, the components when compiled should have been stored in the cache, but that is exactly was not happening in this case. So as soon as the node was, uh, uh, node was compiling the cache, it was, it was, overshooting the V8 compile cache, uh, which was making the node to compile the same source code again and again for different test scenarios. Hence the reason for increased duration of the test and, and all that. So uh, when, when, the, when the issue raised V8, they told this is working expected. And then when, uh, when the node wanted to improve, uh, fix on that. They kind of stalled the, stalled the fix on this for a considerable amount of time uh, until in 21 is when they released the fix. So, so till that time just had to come up with its own solution to at least maybe something like a patch to you know work around this issue. Uh, they introduced a new option called work, work idle memory limit, which 
would basically cut off or restart your idle workers after you reach a safe or uh, whatever limit you have uh, uh, specified in the configuration. And um, we were on version 26 and we had to move to version 28 that, and all of these, both of these two had major breaking changes. Um, there were, and one of the root of uh, Jest was also to replace this VM script altogether in favor of vm.compile function, which was, which works in similar ways, but uh, it supports top level async and await, but uh, that was not fixed. And uh, people had to resort to the option, which, which you can see over here. Uh, we also ran this after recommendation. We also ran the telemetry before the upgrade and after Medgate measured to measure how the duration, how the memory uh, usage was along the way. And as you can see, this is when the CI test started. And you can see there has been a uh, constant increase of memory. And uh, in case of uh, memory leak, it was a much rapid increase in the memory. So to sum it up, did this solve the issue? Um, it did solve, the, it did, ideally it solved the issue because it brought, got down the time to the normal limits. But uh, the actual version is fixed in node 21 and patched on to 20 as well. So the actual uh, upgrade is what I, I would say solves the underlying issue, but it still solves the problem. I miss. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's all about the presentation. Thank you.